Oh, welcome back. I thought I'd do a quick review on the bike I currently have. It's a Suzuki SV1000S. I've had it now for a couple of months, probably about five now. I can't really remember. But I got her in standard form um, from a local dealer. Good price on it. Surprisingly, the 1000 is cheaper than the uh, 650. So, if you're looking for a big bike, um, the only, I suppose, difference between the 650 and the 1000 is the insurance premium. But um, this one's mine. Um, I was really looking for the blue one, but I settled for the silver. Um, I'm not sure if I liked the um, full fairing on this model, but um, seeing in the flesh makes it makes all the difference. Photographs can't can't show you everything, um, but I've grown to like the full fairing now. And um, I mean, the option is there to take it off if you don't like it. Um, fitted some aftermarket cans on it. Came with standard cans. Um, they're handy to keep a hold of, but uh, I just got some second-hand open exhaust pipes. Uh, those were Quill exhaust pipes for a TL1000R. Um, the badges on them, basically one was faded and the other one was missing. So I just <laughs> made an order to Muzzy uh, Muzzy.com and uh, ordered up two plates. Um, well, the other things I've fitted is these handlebar risers. When I first got her, she had standard clip-ons. And doing any journey that was longer than maybe an hour, my wrists were killing me. And the... Uh, Options for clip-ons are very limited, but I got these uh, Paolo Tarozzi uh, risers. It's also fit with an alarm that you can hear. Um, what do you like to ride? Well, I took it for a trip around the uh, North Coast 500. We only got as far as Gerlock. We were doing it the opposite way. Um, and she is, surprisingly, a really friendly bike to uh, take around and close the lid. She's a little bit top heavy with the uh, fuel compared to the 600, but there's always going to be that weight difference between a 600 and the 1000. Uh, the power on her is not scary, but it's the torque is there. If I open the throttle now, I would just seamlessly rush to the back of that car. Uh, there are a lot of things that need tweaking. Well, I, I say a lot. There isn't a lot of things that need tweaking. If you just bought this thing out of the showroom, there are a couple of must-dos. Um, one is to check the throttle positioning sensor. Uh, make sure that that's in its best position. Uh, you can go to websites like SV Portal and they have a wealth of uh, support from owners of this bike. Uh, throttle balance and there is the TRE mod. Some people notice the difference, some people do, do or don't. It depends on your riding style. Mostly I'm commuting or touring, but I found it to make a big difference, as well as doing a TPS, throttle positioning sensor, because it was notchy and snatchy between one and a half and 3,000 revs, and that just smoothed the whole thing out. So we took a 636 out for a test drive today because I was driving around on this bike and when I take it out for uh, runs down some twisty rows I noticed the uh, difference in 
the steering changing direction and stuff and I thought well let's go back on the 600 again and see what the uh, the difference is um, other than the power uh, I, I did a short video I didn't charge up the battery in the camera but uh, I was laughing for most of it because I just felt so ridiculous on it uh, I'm going to do a quick test on 636. Kind of curious about this. Oh. Feels like a bicycle. I feel like I'm uh, an elephant sitting on <laughs> a fucking tricycle. Feels like it's on an elastic band compared to the TL. Are we in top gear? Shit. <laughs> it didn't help that I went up the road with the choke still on, but on the way back I took it off and I managed to get a good squirt of power out from it. I could feel the top end revs. But um, I was thinking about this bike. As soon as I jumped on it, talk straight away, talk. Um, and it was just the steering, left and right, and down there is the steering down there. Now, I understand that the TL1000 basically had handling issues, but is there any need for that? Is that what's slowing down my steering? Because that's the only real problem I have with the SV1000 is it's change of direction it just feels sluggish so I might just try taking that steering dampener out for tomorrow and uh, seeing what it's like now it's on standard settings for the suspension hello please um, so there's nothing extreme about the steering angle other than what it's factory set at so we'll give that a go and see if that's any any better um, now I was a bit disappointed with the 636 so I'm spoiled yes because I've got a v-twin and I've got this massive fucking drive from anywhere in this rev range look right 3,000 revs Falls like a train. Kicks you in the pants just anywhere in this rev range. But uh, 600s, you got to work the engine, get the revs up, and then you start feeling the top end. So I've kind of done myself an injustice by having a thousand cc twin and jumping on the 636 the 600 I was really looking for was the 05 I really like the look of that bike really like it it does look like a bullet whereas the I think it's the 03 I was on it looks a bit like a Frankenstein frog and the one I test drove had an 05 swing arm on it. But another thing I didn't like about it was the rev counter. Couldn't fucking read it. Didn't know what revs I was doing. And because I had a standard can on, couldn't hear the engine either. All I heard was, you know, wind noise. So that was a bit of a shame. A bit of an anticlimax. But I will say, the handling on it 
is gorgeous did like it did like it a lot uh, brakes radial brakes I didn't really put them to the test but they were good so this SV I haven't really done any modifications to it and just continuing on the review of it it is an awesome bike for the money you pay for this 1000cc 07 bike it's it's a very capable bike um, suspension is good it's not you know you can compare it to a GSX 1000 or a 750 it's nowhere near that but um, it's a hell of a lot better than bikes that I've ridden before I've no complaints about it it's not too soft it's not too harsh when I got the bike it was the preload was jacked up a bit Dude. Um, and I softened it down. Other than that, I don't have a sore ass from a jacked up preload on it. It's it's nice. I'm gonna take the back roads. See if I can give you some. Oh no 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 no. The brakes are alright, they feel, I think they probably need new pads. I don't know if these are still on the original pads or not. It did uh, 27,000 miles when I bought it, so, you know, I don't know what the longevity of the OEM pads are. But they are quite good. The back brake, the back brake is shit. That feels completely wooden. You get more braking from the engine braking. Man. And that could probably do with the bleed. Could tighten up a bit. See the pull. I don't even have to drop a gear, it's great. And I do like dancing around the gears on a 600. It feels like you're doing something. And I suppose with a big displacement engine like a 1000 V-twin, you can be lazy about it. So long as you're above three in a top gear, are you flashing your lights at me? So long as you're... Um, around about 4,000 revs. I guess it feels a bit bogged down when you're in top gear doing about 3,000 revs and popping the throttle open. You can hear the piston slapping, protesting. But it is, it's a comfortable bike. I mean I've got risers, I'm a tall, tall bloke, 6 foot 2. For a shorter fellow you probably have a longer reach to the bars. Oh, and another thing was um, Pilot Road tyres. These came with Pilot Road 2s. Love them. They're great in the wet. Great in the wet. Bags of confidence with them. Just haven't found their limit. Or do it well. <laughs> you don't really want to find their limit in the dry, I suppose. But, you know, they... They've got a lot of confidence in them. Uh, you feel everything. Put the heating grips on. Oh, there's lots of bikes there today. That's the Murray Firth. Outside of Luminous. Hopefully you'll get some picture, I don't know what the lens is like. Sometimes a good bit of polish on the lens just helps speed and run off the water. But I average about 48 miles a gallon on, uh, on the SV, it's not bad. 
I got much better on the ZZR 600, close to 58. Uh, the Oxford hot grips. Now, I told you when I put them on, this is me now feeling the heat coming from them. So, if you ever think about getting heated grips and are they worth it, if you're going to get heated grips, don't buy, for me, anything other than Oxford. I haven't heard or read any um, reviews of any other hot grips being as good as. And I can see the reason why. These are on 50% and I'm wearing summer gloves. And the thing is with heated, heated grips, the thicker the gloves you've got, the less you're going to feel that heat. If you've got big win winter, winter gloves on, it's not you're not going to feel it. I was, I was contemplating changing bikes, mainly because of the handling of the twisties. It does feel quite sluggish. I mean, it's sitting 65. So I was looking at uh, a 636, or you know, just something above 600, just slightly. And um, the other options were. Uh, GSXR 750, uh, Jix 1000, one of the early 2000 models. Now that's somewhere within my price range. Um, I was quite, I would love to have the ZX10, but I think that's just a tad, tad too uh, new for me at the moment. I'm kind of new to the 1000. I think maybe the Dixa 750 might be probably the better. More affordable insurance and all that fuel economy, maybe, depending on how you ride it. So, I haven't seen a local dealer with uh, a Dixa 750 quite uh, good to ride one. I think I rode a 750 a long time ago. It's quite nice to get onto it again. But I think I'll try taking the steering dampener off for tomorrow and uh, see if that changes or sways my mind any about the SV. Brilliant bike, very capable, very comfortable. Handlebar risers. Open cans, K and M, all the tweaks done to it. It's just the handling I'm having, steering I'm having a an mm about. So anyway, probably post some more videos about the fuel tank. That's all I'm doing on the uh, Muzzy project. So maybe more on that later. But uh, ride safe. Like and subscribe, and have a good one. Oh, SP. Can I catch him? Yeah. Oh, Mr. Polo on the bus. Darn. What are you waiting for? An invitation? Is that a Perlo 1.2? Mm, the only thing I'm thinking at the moment is do I stick it in neutral? We could be here sometime. Oh my god!